he's why, going to the pound. Why would anybody care if their dog was gay? That's, oh, you <laughs> sounds like you've never had a gay dog, Will. <laughs> You are! <laughs> there it is. Hell yeah, boss! Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Good morning! And welcome to episode 903 hard factor it is monday march 21st 2022 thank you for cheating on the news with us today i've got a cup of coffee full of sports and spin zone mark's got a lightning round of offensiveness and death from disney world to animal shelters uh wes has got some bad beats uh stories for us later something along those lines i gather Uh um and pat's tiktok international moment is going to tell us all about the global dude rental market Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's not what you guys expect. No, I mean, yeah, it sounds, it sounds like that sounds like a dude rental market. <laughs> you don't know anything about dude rental, but you're going to learn. All right. I, I it sounds it like there, there's multiple kinds. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's 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 nice when, uh, you know, rent a dude when uh, you really find a through line in your two stories. Right. With the, <laughs> and, I, and I found one. So both international too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Double through line. Got to be one from Absolutely. Germany if it's. Mm-hmm. No, we're going uh, to Japan. We're going to wow. the United Kingdom. Okay. Nice. Japan and UK. Um, how are we feeling, fellas? Ready to start the week? Feeling good? Feeling great. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling great. Really good. Yeah. yeah good. I'm keeping the weekend vibe going. Fuck it. Nice. Well, it is March Madness after all. Uh Hive Island 22 trip is less than 20 days away. We'll be that's, in Treasure Island. That's Same pretty thing. much why I'm dressed. I, I'm just yeah. staying in beach mode right. until that's basically the rest of the year. Hard yeah. factor will just yeah. got back from Florida. Gotta tell you, mm-hmm. it's a dream down there right now, and it's only going to be a little dreamy. <sighs> mm-hmm. Can't wait 20 days or so in can't terms wait of weather and uh, overall vibe. Leave your mask at home. Yeah, you don't need it. Yep. Not Doesn't planning exist. on bringing it. <laughs> what if they got the stealth? What if they had the stealth Omicron variant that's coming out? It's not about that, Will. OK, it's about freedom. It's about freedom and right. olds. We should rent okay. a Jeep. <laughs> that's true i mean it's all right by me i don't wear my mask anywhere i get like i'm i get gawked at i'm in mm-hmm. one of those areas where it's 50 50 okay let's look you guys ready let's, mm-hmm. yeah, let's do the news right, let's yep. do the news mm-hmm. cup of coffee the big time is up first. yeah cup of coffee in the big time uh fun fact it is officially spring as of sunday uh and it's also still march madness and I may have mushed LSU on Saturday by not wearing their jersey. All facts. Mm. So uh, the the what, jersey so, one. Yeah, what happened? You, the jersey one may sound funky, but in the closet or listen to this. It was in okay. the closet. Look, look, I wore the Leeds jersey that you're looking at right now. I put that on and I was wearing a Caps shirt to start the day because the Caps were also playing. Mm-hmm. Then I put the Leeds jersey on for the second half of the Leeds game. Leeds comes back from zero two down to win three to two. And you're, then, you're looking in the mirror saying, I got something. There's something. Look at, watch mm-hmm. this. Then I switch back to the cap shirt in the third period of the caps game. They come back, win four to three overtime. Now but you're that thinking was at the same time as LSU. And I didn't put on the LSU jersey. LSU lost to Iowa State. Then on Saturday, mm. unrelated, set next day, put on a Knights hoodie, just wearing a Knights hoodie randomly because it's cold outside. Walking my daughter around. Knights win five to one. My it God. wasn't my fault. This yeah, is like it up. This yeah. is like what I went I to. So. LSU freshman year <laughs> national championship. <laughs> JMU. Why didn't you put it on? Sophomore I, year I, national championship. I don't know, man. I, I didn't have it down there. Yeah. Well, Hokies lost. The ACC is a uh, like seven and one in the uh, tournament, and the one is the ACC champs lost in the first round. Mm. Oh, They're se- yeah. The ACC has been dominating. Who the, cares? Uh, well, the, the, out they, there. The, they can always hang their hat on that ACC championship, Mark. That's, um, that's true, I guess. Here's the last fun fact. Here's who's in the Sweet 16 as of the time of taping. Duke, Gonzaga, Arkansas, UNC, UCLA, St. Peter's, Houston, yeah. Michigan, Villanova, Kansas, and Providence. Uh, five ga- games to go as we start in that Iowa State we just talked about. It's looking like they're kind of grabbing the game by the balls a little bit. Uh, more on bad hmm. beats later from West, though. Yeah, we'll have a few. Did Duke lose? No, no Duke ended no, up in the first one. 
and they ended up covering they almost, at the, they did the cover? last two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they really? covered six and a half. They were tied. Oh, wait, like, Wisconsin like, coming back. Okay. Two minutes left. Tight game. Man, Michigan State team is good, man. They're fucking good. But bye well, bye. They're out. Well, bye bye. Bye. They're out. Had, yeah. Bye bye. I got, I got a 15 to one bet on UNC to get to the final four and a 75 to one for them to win. And they looked like they were the best team in the world until that guy got ejected manic. And then they, they but they still held on. They blew a 25 point lead and then they won it over time. They're look, UNC is going to win. The, they're going to win the whole fucking thing. Mark, are, he's really good. Are really you good. thinking it's worthwhile to send Will a UNC? Jersey? Yes. Now, okay. Now that's yes. a fifty dollar. That's a thing. Is like a fifty dollar out of your pocket. Worth it. Okay. I will wear. It. That's the thing. Is like if you want me to wear one and it, you need me, I'm I'm here for you. They're going to win if the, a combination of me walking out of the room and not watching and Will wearing the jersey because that seemed to work. Whenever I walked out of the room, right. they played well. So well, I thought they were I mean, fucked once they went into when, once they went into overtime. Oh yeah, without their, their toast, point guard and their best player, the two best players. Yeah. Can I broker a deal here? Role. I couldn't believe what was happening with the jerseys over the week. Would you mind? Insane. Will, hmm. and you can say no. Would you be open to just theoretically? Just would you be open to a very small, very small Tar Heel related tattoo on your bottom? Like just no, very, no, very no. small. My dad's, okay. my dad's. We could take it off the table. No, we'll take it off the table. I, I feel like no the jersey tattoo. is good enough. We could, no, yeah. That's fine. I agree. Yeah. I agree. The jersey's definitely good enough. I was just saying. I was. I just wanted to figure out what that. I would never be allowed because that's a lock. If I got, <laughs> it's a lock. I got a, if I got a Tar Heel tattoo, you're saying it's dad, a lock. No, no, I wouldn't be allowed to. I wouldn't I think, be allowed to. Step I think. What if it was an anti Tar Heel tattoo? North Carolina is talented enough that with he needs Will's jersey, he needs pro Tar Heel energy. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. They're 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 looking real good. They were they are looking real good. Kansas, who is my pick in my bracket, also I thought they them and Providence is gonna be a good game. So um they're looking good. All right, March twenty first, holidays. The madness is all around us, but let's continue. Uh it's a list so long, uh, it literally disgusts me that we have this many <laughs> ceremonial holidays, including National Healthy Fats Day today. Uh uh, not like every single nut and avocado based food doesn't already have its own individual holiday later in the year. They had to have a nationally sanctioned healthy fats day umbrella day for all of them. Uh, yeah, maybe 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 the holidays, maybe one year doing these and teaching them ourselves them was enough because look at that bullshit. It ain't our day. I'll tell you that we're not healthy fats. No, 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 we're not. It's the opposite of hard factor day. We're it's, gouty two- fats. And yeah. there's too many holidays, and I don't want to read them. Does so it say greasy not- fats or does it say healthy? <laughs> Sad fats. Don't, <laughs> don't curse this, Pat. I don't know about you guys. I'm on a I'm on a gout streak, goutless goutless streak right now. So I like to keep you. that going. Wow. My dad, my dad got gout uh, when I was visiting in Virginia. He because ah! because he, he you, he's you a Scott him, drinker. You brought him the gout. So no, were you he was like he, taunting taunting him, gloating that no. you were so gout free. No, just PSA. He is a scotch drinker. He never drinks beer. He went out bowling with my mom, drank like like six of these like Irish red beers, and he said that they they have them at the at, at the golf course now. And I was like, "There you go. There's your gout." He's like, "Oh yeah, know. beer." He was dark hobbling beer. around like a fucking cripple. Dark okay. beer will fuck you up. That'll yeah. inflame the fuck out of you. Uh, yeah, except for Guinness, which is the nectar of the gods. Um, also, act happy day. So that makes sense for a day with fifty holidays because you're trying to you're doing too much. March twenty first. March twenty first in history. Also uh, the same as last time we covered it last year, but these ones do bear repeating. In 1965, the American Civil Rights Activist led by Martin Luther King Jr. began a protest from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama on March 21st. Um, it was also a, a march to drive voting registration. You know, huge accomplishments start with one small step. And then in 2006, March 21st, Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey sent the first public tweet on March 21st. And it read, just setting up my Twitter. No, I. T-W-T-R. Is that how it used to be? Yep. So, hmm. Oh, they were so early on tech companies with limited vowels. So cute and kitschy. It was that South by. It makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> it's yep. still going on. Or I guess it just ended. Yeah. Oh, right. oh we didn't mention South by. Anything yeah. big happened this year? I mean, I didn't go to it. Yeah, just avoided it. All right, moving on to trending news. Honorable mention, <laughs> South by Southwest just ended, just wrapped up the always incredible South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Woo! All right, other things that happened. Uh, the ever forward ship is still stuck in the Chesapeake Bay. They say it may take another week to get it out. <laughs> Holy fuck. Like, people are insane. ever forward it's stuck in the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah. Kanye got pulled from the Grammys because of his, uh, uh, his uh, troublesome online behavior. So more fuel for the next the, album. The threats, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man. Can someone just like it's lithium? The guy needs lithium. He's just he's he's just a classic bipolar with narcissistic tendencies. 
and he he's just no one can tell him nothing no one can tell him nothing keep making albums kanye i want to hear the next one uh scotus nominee uh katanji brown jackson her confirmation hearings start today in the senate she's uh being uh you know listen they're trying to see if she'll replace briar who's retired you think we'll get any i like beers from her any any, any, any good quotes Pro- probably a little bit mm. different vibe i like beer Kavanaugh. Yeah, Kavanaugh Kavanaugh was a once at Kavanaugh. Lifetime. Yeah, that was nothing a once in a lifetime. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nothing will beat the Kavanaugh. They had like <laughs> they, had, they had the whole the calendar the squee squee in the calendar. It was incredible. Squee of the boys. Yeah. That squee was the boys. Something uh, else. His drunk buddy who with his self published book. I mean, like, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure though they do have sweat buckets now. Um, wherever they do those those yeah. testimonies. Just in case well, it's the Kavanaugh rule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Work he was out. under fire. So. Beers. <laughs> Beers with squee <laughs> in between. I still like beers. Yeah. Talk about a guy who's never going to retire. He, it was so hard for him to get on the throw and wrap. Uh, he's yeah. He doesn't want to ever do a he's job on, interview ever again. Yeah, no, he's, he's not staying life. There. <laughs> no more interviews. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, next mention uh, the NFL. A bunch of updates. Devonte Adams is going to be a Raider now. He's back with Derek Carr from their Fresno State days. Um, Juju. So why says, the fuck? I don't understand that. They sign Rogers for a like a record setting thing, and they don't even keep his best receiver yeah lazard or, or whatever is his top guy now or lazar i don't even gonna, know i don't know what they're doing there Randall Wait, Cobb, what could they it, have like paid him three? was it um, a money thing no, no yeah like, apparently according to some packers fans and owners because you know they're all part they owners, own the team right yeah, yeah. they they claim that it's a friendly uh 50 million dollars a year from rogers that really sets up for for restructuring other people as well so i think they could have afforded so them. friendly mm-hmm. the yeah. biggest of all yeah. time <laughs> such a friendly guy uh <laughs> You can buy a lot of weed with that money, though. Juju Smith-Schuster is a chief now. Big time. I mean, the Chiefs are looking amazing. Uh, Deshaun Watson is a brown. And uh, rest in peace to John Clayton, legendary NFL reporter. Uh, died uh, since we last talked. Um, R. I. Another RIP, sadly. Um, a NATO training exercise in Norway went wrong over the weekend, and four Marines uh, died in the plane crash. Uh, rest in peace to those troops who died training to keep oh. us all safe. That's I mean, terrible. You know, it was annual training exercise, just you know, an accident, a deadly accident. Um, so number three, last Friday on March 18th, uh, the New York Times uh, finally acknowledged that the Hunter Biden laptop is real, which got a lot of things trending because I guess they had never acknowledged that before. And coincidentally, on the same day, uh, there they they released a. Um, an opinion piece that there's a problem with freedom of speech uh, in this country, a censorship issue. Uh, so the laptop confirmation was part of an article about Honey Bee and Arch Deluxe, you know, Hunter Biden and uh, Devin Archer, their ongoing federal investigations, which you already know about because you listen to Hard Factor. Uh, but New York Times readers and listeners, they just are finding out just now. No, it's um, very complicated, William. It was a complicated situation. And and the Times does a great job, by the way, of giving the opposite side in their editorials or their opinion pages like they really do. It should be called oh, the get well, with the Times. Pat, Pat, that wasn't an opinion on that one. That was an actual news article. They just About finally, the laptop. They just finally put the laptop in a real Dude, news I, article. I, I, I invite everyone to go on BuzzFeed and read and listen to the bizarre. It's an hour long. I've invited everyone before the bizarre interview with the BuzzFeed guy and the surely guy it's that, not owns, surely that owns it's not the laptop. No, it's it's, it's on the phone. It, what do you do? What do you say? No, thing. you think I'm, I'm spreading propaganda? No, it, the, the dude walks in with the phone rolling. <laughs> I mean, it's real, isn't it? Isn't the laptop real? <laughs> Yeah, the laptop's real. It's real. And the New York Times says so, too. Uh, <laughs> you can hear the pain in Pat's voice. No, in the free, in the I don't. Free, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. And the free speech. It was it was suspicious circumstances. Go listen to the fucking well, interview with the BuzzFeed the reporter. Shop. Go it's listen real. to the BuzzFeed art- reporter interviewing it's this guy. It's real, Pat. I, I know it's real, but it was suspicious as fuck. Why would you go to Rudy Giuliani with it? Why do we keep coming to the same argument? Because New York Times just acknowledged it this week oh. or this weekend. And the free I like, speech. I like the Borowitz report, the satire from the New Yorker. That's funny. Yeah, different, yeah. different publication. No, yeah. well, the Atlantic is Sa- similar city. Hey. Sucks too. Yeah, what same city. MSNB uh, and the free speech uh, concerns were <laughs> after a shocking new poll uh, found that thirty percent of Democrats <laughs> and eighteen percent of Republicans have retaliated against people in their personal lives for political disagreements, um, and nearly half of Americans, forty six percent, feel less free to voice political dissent today compared. To ten years ago, 
which is uh, a fucking obviously look at all the cover ups the government has done out in the open in the last decade, including the Hunter Biden laptop, the one we just talked about right now. So the government covered uh, that up? Epstein's jail cell. Yeah, James Clapper was called on the CNN to, to cover it up. Uh, Epstein's jail cell, COVID origins, the giant blobs under the earth. The, the Trump election. On. We're close. Yeah, we're close to getting pushed out of windows over here in the of States. Of course, it feels unsafe to politically dissent when the entire U.S. government and network media <laughs> blatantly lies to you on a fucking regular basis but that's not why yes it is pat that's why because because people feel like they're going to be shouted down if they say the fucking truth it's like about the laptop it's misinformation that created this situation not, not you not, said the laptop was russian misinformation and it wasn't <laughs> no what i said what i said was this is going what, on here what i was questioning I was whether the laptop was was an, an actual laptop that was handed over or if it was a hack of a hard There's a censorship drug. problem in america and the laptop is one of the symptoms of it uh, I don't think that that, that 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 people are worried about like the government. I think they're worried about just their neighbor looking like like being judged by their neighbor. I don't think it's the like the, they're worried about the government. I'm not worried about the government. I don't I'm, feel like, censored at all. I can say fuck the government right now on a show that right. goes out to people like I, but I mean, like I people. Can, yeah, but people yeah, are just guys, scared, like oh, you guys uh, are yeah. part, you guys are part of the 50. It's not about the government. No, I don't think I'm so. part of the 46 uh, yeah. moving along. Number two, speaking of confusion. Let's move on to the fog of war. Uh, the latest battle map uh, shows the territory gained by Russia outside of uh, previously held Crimea and Donbass regions. Uh, and the good news is that effective Ukrainian resistance in the north and west uh, since you know the invasion began means that it's unlikely we'll see Russia be able to take either Kiev or western Ukraine uh, before the Russian troops tire, according to Michael Kaufman, an independent Russian uh, military wait, analyst, wait I was reading up on. Pump them up, up with uppers, though. Mm -hmm. Right. There's yeah. bad news, Mark. But the bad news is the city of Mariupol, uh, the one where mm. Putin bombed the building marked children last week, um, is between the areas that are already held by Russians before the invasion even began, and therefore getting cut off uh, to the rest of Ukraine more and more, which is the a The cutoff is the big thing, right? That's the cut. The, worst the, spot, the, yeah. Yeah. And partially so, no supplies, no food, right? That's the issue. Yeah, well, I mean, Can't when you're escape, completely right? surrounded by Russians and the Russian army and the rest of Ukraine is not around you, yes, you start becoming a bit better target for maybe a city that Putin wants to annex or something like that. Right. And the, the negotiation. grocery stores are, yeah. are bare. And right? they're also yeah. like having to evacuate. They're killing, you know, more citizens, obviously, in places like that. So it's just, yeah, that's way worse than being where less Russian soldiers are. Uh, also, Putin started using dagger hypersonic missiles over the weekend uh, that travel 10 times the speed of sound faster than anything the U.S. has uh, in our arsenal. And he bragged about it uh, at his Crimean uh, annexation anniversary parade while wearing a turtleneck over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, that, that, that was the uh, yeah. the the stadium tour he did yes. where, where they he had did. To cut bragging about mandatory it. mandatory uh, yeah yeah but they bust in a bunch of people from um you know putin supporters and then then they had to like for some reason cut away from it back yeah. to an earlier performance yeah and then he gives something a, that got then he gives booed, a speech probably. to thousands of people about how he's killing ukrainians in a turtleneck with the fastest rockets ever so he's just as crazy as ever you never know what's going to happen next it's next cold over there on the hypersonic front it is his go-to look west though yeah the, it's cold in russia have you guys ever um he's a fashionable it, psychopath I mean, what was the <laughs> last time you guys put on a turtleneck <laughs> it's, it's awesome uh, i mean i wear I one of the joke i wear one of the joke on this show yeah. all the time yeah i wear one as a joke too um, it's it's but it, you feel you so see, you want to see someone complain get me in a turtleneck i see i feel i feel goofy as fuck yeah. when i'm in a turtleneck all right I used uh, to get them for christmas every year didn't understand why they're hard to find one last thing on the on the hypersonic missile front, Lockheed Martin has so far been unable to match the Russian and Chinese hypersonic systems. We have been trying. Um, How the hell is that? What? Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we last went thing to college with a lot of the guys that are at Lockheed Martin. <laughs> that's <laughs> makes, true. Makes sense to me. <laughs> we you we know? got hammered. <laughs> yeah. Last thing. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. It's not not doing so well on the R and D front, Lockheed yeah. these days. Uh, last. If thing, it involves chugging a mad dog, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. You we're know gonna do it faster than Russia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hypersonically Lockheed, fast. Lockheed would yeah. fuck up uh, Ross Cosmos or whatever in like a boat race. That's but, right. Yeah. A hypersonic <laughs> program. They would smash them in a boat race. All right. Last thing on Ukraine. Uh, China still claims they are not helping Russia at all while they continue to buy all Russian exports, uh, help develop uh, the most cutting edge Russian weapons and help them avoid sanctions during the war, but not helping them at all, according to them. Uh, but they, along with Zelensky, President Zelensky of Ukraine, claim they all want more peace talks 
Um, so the only question left is the dickhead and the turtleneck going to play along or not, you know, what's going to happen there. So that's what's happening. I had a Putin's war on Ukraine. Mm-hmm. I had kind of a, a very cynical thought. I don't even know if I want to share it, but I will. You should yeah. share it. It seems like to me, I know that we're sending Ukraine a bunch of missiles and guns and all this kind of stuff, but we're not, you know, genuinely getting involved to help them directly. It seems to me like we're just using them almost as a way to weaken the Russian army and we're using them as like an attack dog by feeding them, you know, these these missiles and we're just they're kind of like our our it's, defense now. It's, um, cer- like, it's certainly you, it's you're certainly saying a, you're saying it seems like it may be a proxy war. It's certainly a I benefit mean, that. Yes. It, it, yeah, this, it, yeah. It, it seems like. Yeah, it's, oh, it it's, certainly it's, seems like that may be the case. Yes, Wesley, there's something that we did very similarly in Afghanistan with the Mujahideen. Uh, we yeah. funded them for years and years and years. And Wes, years you and can't years. say right. that. Otherwise, you'll get black bags because the people are worried right. about censorship in America for some reason. No, that's an right. open yeah. fact. Well, have you well seen you're allowed the, to say whatever you want. Have you seen the deck that spending. Wes's neighbor built? I wouldn't mess with Wes's neighbor. No, no, no. It's about social yeah. pressure and canceling, Mark. That's what they're talking about. Well, people about. are dicks. It's just people. No, literal canceling. Like when I'm they saying like cancel people. We could go in and save the Ukrainian people um, a lot saying. stronger, but. We're well, just, yeah, but the problem is it's a nuclear power and I it's, a, it's a psycho. I, I know. But Wes, you're probably right. I mean, like, look, we absolutely have our own interests. There's no doubt about it. And and interest numero uno or dos, yeah. uh, if you speak Espanol, is is China and Russia. Maybe it's obvious. I don't know. It's like when I tell my wife, like, I'll be right there in the kitchen to help out. And then I purposely delay and the meals finished by the time I get in there. Or right, you, exactly. I had to go to the bathroom. Which something. Is like, yeah. 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 yeah something you can't argue with that. Oh. Exactly. oh, is the war over? I right. mean, Wes, that's what Zelensky's been saying the whole yeah. time. There was a real war taking place in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. well, then, it's not <laughs> thought. Then, I, then, then, then everyone knows it. I just I just hadn't heard it. Well, Zelensky's said saying public. like Zelensky saying, like, look, this is an obvious proxy war. Stop pretending it's not. And we're all like, in the bathroom no, over here for sure. No, it's not. We're exactly we're all in the we're toilet over the, here. We're all, the we're all the toilet over here. Zelensky's like, close the skies. And they're like, no, no, no. We're in the toilet. Is this a load bearing toilet? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> I'm about to take it out. But well, I'm in the dark. Yeah, super, 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 super strong proxy war vibes. All right, uh, let's move it on to number one or the cream of the crop. And that is about Bloomberg, a outlet, a publishing outlet, a newspaper, an online uh, news source uh, owned by a guy worth eighty two billion dollars who spent one hundred and eighty eight million dollars on his uh, twenty twenty his own 2020 presidential campaign uh, to not win a single Democratic state primary. Hold on. Um, uh, you, you, American you forget, Samoa, not a, state. American not, Samoa. not a state, but not a state. <laughs> That's a territory. Yeah. Congrats on the territory win, Michael Bloomberg. Uh, but that guy who's that rich and that out of touch felt it was good. A good call felt it was a necessary step uh, to fire off this tweet and corresponding article on Saturday. And it says, uh, Bloomberg says inflation in Bloomberg opinion tweets verified inflation stings most if you earn less than 300 K here's how to deal. Take the bus. Don't buy in bulk. Try lentils instead of meat. What? Nobody said this would be fun. And it's a picture of a guy who can't afford his gas in the. Yeah, that's not Michael Bloomberg, though. I mean, he's pretty far removed from from the Bloomberg publication. Not not to say it's not a ridiculous tweet. <laughs> it is, but how many people right, make lentils? more than 300k? Not a lot. Like 2%? Oh, it's 5% yeah. of the country, Mark. 1 1.1% makes more than 300k. I I I I'd read that not, this represents 95% of the USA that that Yeah, that maybe like combined and I'm saying individuals it's 1%. I mean, this is maybe the families. I, maybe, yeah, maybe they're talking about household combined. This yeah. is Paris Hilton. Stop being poor shirt uh, right ahead yeah. of the uh, economic mm-hmm. recession. Right. Yeah. So there's 12,000 quote tweets and 4,000 likes. So people obviously had some thoughts on the tweet that applies to at least 95 percent of American citizens. Uh, let's take a look inside the article. Hmm. Basically, it says inflation is unprecedentedly bad on everything across the board. Uh, and the poorer you are. The worse it is for you personally. Oh, and here's something interesting. A nice, nice tip. If you're one of the many Americans who became a new pet owner during the pandemic, you might want to rethink those costly pet medical needs. Uh, It may sound harsh, but researchers actually don't recommend pet chemotherapy, which can cost up to 10,000 for ethical reasons. Well, okay. What was that from that same article? 
Same article. So what the, uh, go, who, who so the Pat, fuck? Pat, who the Pat, fuck are let these me people? Summarize for you, Pat. B- Bloomberg opinion. Verified Bloomberg opinion publishes, Who is tweets it out. They want to say, so go vegan and abandon or euthanize your pets if you want to be a good, poor American. Well, don't even get them. Eat, eat lentils yeah. and don't get pets. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Your life. What the hell is a lentil? Oh, what do you mean? But if you have them, Mark, kill them. Yeah. You know, it's if like you have them, kill them. It means uh, slow. Yeah. Taking it yeah. to the Internet. The classic clown meme. Uh, in response to this uh, is what people have provided to Bloomberg. And it's the clown who's starting to put his makeup on. And it says Fed officials have six reasons to bet inflation spike will pass. That was published by Bloomberg in the past. Then the clown's got more makeup on. CNBC says inflation silver lining, higher salaries. And then the clown's putting the afro on. And then it says uh, Biden says, make no mistake. Inflation is largely the fault of Putin. And then almost the, full clown. Yeah. The clown is fully dressed, yeah. completely clown. Bloomberg. And it's Bloomberg's tweet saying, take the bus. Don't buy in bulk. Try lentils instead of meat. And nobody said this. Would I be. mean, Will, you really got to go. You got to go after this woman, Teresa Gialli Giardi, Gialli Ducci, who wrote it because it's an opinion piece, right? You, sure. you start you started by I got, I got going at the knees of Michael Bloomberg, just, who couldn't start, even win a state. Just start at the first one. Take that the, bus. the richest newspaper yeah. pub, pub, publication it's the boat. It's the one that's known for being owned by a billionaire. I they took this out. I mean, they're all I, owned by billionaires. I took the bus. Uh, <laughs> my wife and I went to Colorado, stayed in Denver, downtown Denver, a couple months ago or back like late, late 2021. And um, there was a guy openly bleeding from the leg through khaki pants through the thighs. So there, was a, there was an open there was an open blood wound on his right thigh. Very large. He's just like, he I a, chose the wrong pants today. The, I should have gone blue jeans, you know? Yeah. The just, next corner. <laughs> these just show up with khaki. And then the guy next to me is screaming to, um, I'm assuming, his girlfriend about how he just got out of jail and he's going to get kicked out of his halfway house because he's drinking again, but he'll figure it out. And so I don't know about the whole bus. <laughs> he'll figure it out. You don't, don't recommend don't, it, do you? I don't have a yeah, I'm staring at a guy with a wound. As, in his as leg. people get poorer, make sure yeah. you take the bus more, according to Bloomberg. Thanks, Bloomberg. Um, Stay off the bus. Man. Today's cup of coffee. Pat, any more defenses of Michael Bloomberg? It's no, I'm just else? saying attack the right <laughs> person. <laughs> Biden, whoever, attack who the else right person. You want to defend attack the right person. Segment. William, if <laughs> we don't Pat, balance each other, then we don't have a, a fastball down the middle. So that's okay. my job. You do yours and we're doing our job. Yeah, Pat. No, oh, thank you for, for, for making sure that, that, that I. Yeah, Pat's got to keep you in line. Really buddy. appreciate that. Pat. I mean, I, <laughs> I go after Teresa Bloomberg for telling you to eat lentils. It's Teresa's fault. <laughs> Good job, Pat. Keep him in line. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll think about that next time I try to criticize the U.S. government. I'll think about what you. you gonna start, about we're going to start looking crazy here. Jill, <laughs> Jill Araducci, right? <laughs> More like, uh, shut the fuck up, Teresa. Right? Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Workshop it. Now you want to make fun of Bloomberg. Okay. No. And today's oh, cup of coffee was brought to you <laughs> by longtime supporters of Hard Factor, Stamps.com. Oh. Not only does Stamps.com support us as a sponsor. They support us as a small business owners as well because stamps.com lets you print official postage right from your computer and saves you money in the process. So you can spend less time at the post office and more time making your customers happy. Which stamps.com. We need. We need to save money. This is good. This is yes, a good thing. With inflation. It's yes, it's good. More important You're going to want to mail your pet's ashes yeah. in a box <laughs> with yeah. postage printed to stamps.com. Mail it to, you know, mail it to yourself so exactly. you can release them. In the wild, stamps.com uh, gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services you need uh, right from your computer and get discounts so you, can, uh, you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS and 76% off UPS. Uh, whether you're an office uh, sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, stamps.com will make your life easier. All you need is a computer and a standard printer, no special supplies or equipment. And you're up and running in minutes printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send. Stop overpaying for shipping with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code HARDFACTOR, all one word, for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code HARDFACTOR. hey oh, hey, All right, let's do it. Well, we should, but also... Went on the edge of a lightning bolt, and I do not apologize for that. There we go. All right, there we go. That's what, that's what I was trying to play. That. Did you have another fact check before? We no, I was just saying a tail end of that. Clarence Thomas has been hospitalized with flu-like symptoms. Uh, Supreme oh. Court justice, so oh, no. it could be could be a real messy. You know, he, he's the one that covered up Clinton's um, 
He was Clinton's bone brother. I see. No, I have. I remember. Vernon yeah. Davis. I um. I have. I have one more anecdote. I don't I think that's correct. Around. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the hospital. I, I don't think that. Yeah. I forgot to mention it when we we're talking about March Madness, but went to a bar to watch uh, Texas versus uh, Virginia Tech. And boy, was that a bad idea in Austin, Texas, when you're surrounded by 200 uh, Texas fans uh-huh. and you lose the game. But uh, Ooh, right were you wearing Hokies? Too? Yeah, of course I was wearing a Hokies oh, no. thing. I was just getting <laughs> laughed at. Um, <laughs> but right before the games come on, there's like all these TVs and like a third of them are on women's basketball. And the guy across the bar who's like in his 60s goes, can we turn off the goddamn women's basketball <laughs> games? And then he looks at every woman, including my wife, and he goes, I'm sorry. And he goes, I'm sorry. It's like five different women. But he's like, <laughs> and then I was like, say it again. I'll put it on video. And he's like, I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. We got to turn this shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the lightning round. Um, this is a doozy of a lightning round, I got to say. First up, the drill team for Texas's Port Nietzsche's, Nietzsche's, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Groves High School got a taste of the big leagues recently when they performed their routine at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Whoa, that's like the Macy's Parade. You know, it's big. Unfortunately for everyone, the Port Neche's drill team or cheer team is called the Indianettes, and they dress up in Indian headdresses and chant things like, scalp them, Indian, scalp them, Indian, scalp them, Indians, during the routine. Um, here's a you picture. Know, classic Indian chants <laughs> yeah. for <laughs> teams with that mascot. Yeah, here's a picture of three, like, 17-year-old white girls dressed in full headdresses. Nobody uh, in rehearsal. You know, it was like, eh. apparently <laughs> they, the appara- schools existed for like a hundred years. Why do you well, think actually, we're, we're going like- to get that? Apparently, the, apparently when they gave them the audition tape, Disney said they left the scalp of Indians part out of the audition tape. Yeah, of course. Conveniently. Yeah. Uh, but we'll get to that. There might that might not be true. They performed at Disney for years. We're going to get to that. Why they leave it out? That didn't go well with the Internet when word got out about the performance and Disney issued a statement of apology. They said, quote, uh, the live performance in our park did not reflect our core values and we regret we regret it took place. It was cons- it was not consistent with the audition tape the school provided. And we have immediately <laughs> put measures in place so that this is not repeated. We're not going to invite the Indian Nets back. Sure, said. <laughs> How many times have you had them over? Disney? <laughs> a bunch. The Cherokee yeah. Nation. Uh, They're fucking lying. They, they didn't have a problem until it got out on the Internet. Right. Well, that's when when Native American groups like Cherokee Nation started condemning it, which happened as well this weekend. Uh, they wrote a, a release statement that said, quote, Port Nature's Groves Independent School District continues to use offensive and stereotypical depictions of our tribe. And this is yet again exampled by their cheer team recently in Orlando. For the past couple of years, we've written to the Port Nature's superintendent and school board asking them to cease using this offensive imagery, chanting symbolism, so on and so forth. They've been asking for years. It's been ignored. Apparently, not only do they have the Indian net dance cheer team uh, in flat dresses, but they refer to their football stadium as the reservation. Their newspaper is the powwow news and their yearbook <laughs> is called the war whoop. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's the full. It's yes. the full. It's the full gamut. <laughs> yes, it is. They, they have, they, I mean, that's what happens when you're the Indians for hundred yeah, years. Yeah, that's right. The su- you're right. Well, the assistant superintendent, super Nintendo Chalmers, the assistant superintendent for. Port I love how Nature's everybody's Groves. like blaming this school. These well, oh, these cretins. No, well, li- well listen, listen. <laughs> this to what, is a little bit worse than normal. <laughs> listen to what Julie Gothier from Port, the superintendent <laughs> for Port Nature's Groves, assistant superintendent said. She said the Indianettes have performed at Disney several times in the past without incident. And they thought it was weird that people are upset this time. And it was weird that Disney came up to them just minutes before their performances and said, lose the headdresses. Uh, the Indianettes have been around for over 50 years uh, and they've been yelling scalp them Indians scalp them for quite some time. At Disney World <laughs> for like a decade. They also I'm trying to think. Um, let me see if I can find. They, ha- they also have a picture here. Here's a picture of their world renowned, highly decorated choreographer for these dances. Mr. G. <laughs> She's a slut and she knows it. <laughs> yeah, Summer Heights High. Fuck you, uh, That was good. That was a good end of, end of the year performance when they had the baby Jesus. It was like the Jesus. Anyways, let's move oh, yeah. on. Next the Indi- up. The Indianettes. I mean, they're in trouble. What do you expect when you invite the Indianettes? <laughs> I mean, Disney's invited them for fucking a decade they, every they year. They go, they go there every year. They, they, they yeah. don't care. And then it goes it goes viral on TikTok. And every yeah. woke motherfucker is like, look at these disgusting children. And Disney's <laughs> like, you're done, Indianettes. It's a, it's a <laughs> fucking comedy. I mean, it's like. <laughs> Will's not having Will's not having censorship today. Next up, we have a guy who attempted to save a life 
and then killed the guy he was trying to save. You know, that classic scenario, you know, what I'm talking about um, 29 year old Nathan Drew Morgan here. Nathan, uh, he was drowning last Tuesday in Lake Kiwi in South Carolina. Morgan and a female companion of his, they were on a jet ski, I guess, and they fell off the jet ski. They got flung from the jet ski and they didn't have any life jackets. So they were struggling in the middle of this giant lake. And luckily, there was a good Samaritan couple on a pontoon boat that were able to swim over to them and save them. Uh, once safely on board, Morgan noticed that his jet ski was still driving around in circles on the lake and he became very agitated, allegedly wanting to get back out to his jet ski because it was his favorite possession on Earth even more so than the, the lady, right? You know, like, it, would be, it would be mine if I had right. one. Uh, it's, I can see it. I want to go get it. But the couple mm -hmm. on the pontoon boat was saying it's not safe. Like, just relax. Why don't you catch your breath? And that didn't go over well with Morgan, who started throwing fists at everyone on board. Uh, on board my the fucking jet ski, boat. man. Yeah. So at this point, quote, in order to defuse the situation, <laughs> the woman who was on the jet ski with Morgan and was now on the boat shoved Morgan off the boat. So he started drowning again. Uh, and then Morgan was helped back onto the boat a second time by the elderly couple who owned the boat. Uh, and then he promptly was shot in the chest by the, the 74 year old male owner of the boat when he started fighting everyone again, when he got Holy helped back on the second time. Shit. And then Morgan died on the boat in front of his lady friend and the couple that first attempted to rescue him. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is supposed to happen, right? This is how it was supposed to happen for him. Probably. It seems like he wasn't going to stop. So they, they put one in his chest. Yeah. My jet ski I mean, needs help. You, know, you don't fight somebody down. on their own boat. Yeah, exactly. No. Jet ski owner fighting a man on his own vessel, fighting a captain on his own vessel, drowning twice in one day. I'm sorry. You certainly so don't, Will. You certainly don't, Will. And you certainly don't down south where they have things like in Florida, the stand your ground rule. And because South Carolina has come out and said, we're not pressing any charges against the guy who shot this him. This is in the legal chest. in like all 50 yeah. states. Yeah. He's like, like he was self-defensing his boat. Morgan got pot probably was a little drunk. He's seeing his jet ski going under and going in circles, you know, driverless, and he lost his mind. And so he got shot in the chest. He probably so, bought the jet ski. Right, new. Yeah, yeah for sure. Rube. It's probably like a week old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough way to go. He was so excited. Yeah, showing it off. So, you buy a jet ski. Used, that everyone end. knows that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Fucking stupid. Lastly, we have a story of a responsible dog owner that had to make a very tough decision. Um, this one's a sad one, guys. Meet Fezco. Right. Hmm. He's a cute dog, but he's a bad dog. Uh, his owner recently had to make the tough decision to give Fezco up as he was actually causing a great, great harm to the community. That community being uh, Stanley County in North Carolina. He was such a menace that his owners really only had but one choice. And that choice was to, to give Fezco up. Let me just play you the local news clip explaining like what Fezco was up to and why they had to make this quite clear decision, in, in my opinion. Right. Here we go. Mm. Tough. He howls along to Streisand. <laughs> yeah. It'd be tough with, with press like that out there on Fesco. So. He's so gay. What's um, the, what the hell is Fesco doing? Yeah, he's like, that's it. He's going to the pound. He's gay, Deborah. He's got to go. <laughs> Look at him. He's face fucking that other dog. Look at Deborah, he's what? going to the pound. Why would anybody care if their dog was gay? That's, oh, you sounds like you've never had a gay dog, Will. <laughs> that's, I have. That's I think a Bentley. Good I think Bentley was was. Oh, I think Bentley he, swung both ways. Well, he put his dick on everything. Yeah, but, yeah I mean, dude, he, guy, girl, dog, guy. Girl, it didn't yeah. matter. He was, yeah. he was. He was. He was. He was down to clown. I had a drug dealer in um in college in a Doberman Pinscher, and the the guy was like a he was like a, this big like ecstasy drug dealer and he had this this dog and the dog would pee if he got yelled at so the drug dealer gave him away because this dog was a because it was embarrassing yeah. 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 yeah 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 it's gay dog he's got to go yeah. uh so you know fesco humped his last male ass for that couple in north carolina but uh they are saying that you know he's probably going to get adopted because the story went viral and everyone's like i'll adopt him obviously yeah. everybody's um, like who gives a fuck if a dog is gay yes exactly uh, <laughs> wait, how gay is he but now i'm thinking about getting him but just i mean the obviously the internet was not Can dogs be gay i don't need why well, uh, who knows I mean, whatever. <laughs> who cares uh obviously like uh of course they can well no they yeah, fuck whatever they holes whatever, there man. i don't know vesco's gay. I shouldn't ask that fucking so question. gay uh, <laughs> obviously the internet's not happy with this couple they're you know pieces of shit so uh, this is the favorite take my favorite take that i found uh, this is from melanie myers on facebook on friday she wrote i'm in a mood and this right here just makes me want to smack someone if these people happen to be friends with me 
me on Facebook. Please unfriend me. I can't with this type of stupidity. Idiots, please get out of the gene pool and please someone don't let these people rescue an animal. So if you're friends with Melanie, guys, unfriend her if you're the people that have, that don't like gay dogs. So right now. there you go. It's a chance. I mean, Not in Melanie's they, could, house. they could have been one of Melanie's 60 friends, you know? <laughs> you believe it? You believe I had to give up my dog because he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> you are one of these people. Look, I wish he wasn't, okay? <laughs> but I can't have that in my house. He doesn't I mean, go I'm near sure. the girl dogs. Yeah. It's funny that the news reported on it, but this ha- you know this happens more frequently. This- <laughs> It yeah, had, I, it had, I don't. I don't think. I don't think they say why they're giving up the dog. I think they just drop right. the dog off this at the happens. pound. Yeah, like Wes said, the, there's the the carpet pisser giver uppers. There's yeah. this. There's this. There's these giver uppers too. Usually they just drop off the dog and don't have a conversation with why they're so stupid. Right. They just yeah. screech out of the parking lot. All hey, we saw me, was dust. Let me ask you a question. Do I have to check a box? Do you have dog is gay for yeah. drop off? Dog embarrasses the shit <laughs> out of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Um, All right, guys. Uh, The madness has officially begun. Um, It's time for you to shoot your shot and score big on the nonstop action with my bookie. It doesn't matter whether you're filling out multiple brackets, betting the national championship winner, or simply looking for player and game props. My bookie has you covered. As Will said, the Sweet 16 has almost um, been decided. That will be by the time you listen to this, I believe. And uh, great opportunity for some big scores out there. So sign up today at MyBookie and use promo code FACTOR to secure a first defo- deposit bonus up to $1,000. It's simple. You put in 200 bucks and play with 300 Just use promo code FACTOR to claim your bonus. College b-ball, NBA, UFC, any sport you want to bet on. Any time of the day, my bookie puts the action in your hands with in-game live betting too, and with choice with choices from thousands of lines and odds, you can turn any game day into payday. And now is one of the best times to get betting. Yes. Um, and As you'll hear from this bad beat story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what's you about to start? Real quick, uh, live mm-hmm. update: Iowa State did win. They beat. Yeah. Them. They did win. Wisconsin's out. Well, that fucks me a little bit. Um, come on, fucks everybody, probably. I mean, yeah. You know, come on, Iowa State's an Iowa State. Season, come so. on, yeah, yeah. The Cyclones. So it sounds like everyone had a pretty good weekend, though. It's nice, nice for you guys. Hang yeah. out, fam. Will. Yeah. yeah, a lot of family stuff. A lot of, mm-hmm. a lot of, a lot of hashtag girl dadding out there. Mm-hmm. Around, around Pat was in Florida, in neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Pat, you yeah, went to a good. nice wedding with Cash. Happy birthday, uh, belated by the way, to the little man. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Mark, you, you you went out, had some drinks and good food with the wife, I assume. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. How was your you weekend, have... Wes? How was there your you weekend, go. Wes? There you go. Well, it was awful, frankly. <laughs> and rather um, rather than explain it, I'm just going to show you guys. Let's go to Thursday night, shall we? Um, now, you guys know I'm a degenerate gambler. Um, it's what I've documented it. I've, uh, if you're on the discord, patreon.com slash hard factor, you can see it. I've posted many of slot wins on there. Um, and this is more of a PSA than anything about how not to bet long parlays. So let's go to my first parlay in my crushing weekend, 11 pick parlay plus 86,319. Wow. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Huh? What'd you put like five bucks on that? Ten bucks put three that? bucks on it. Just okay. you know, tinkering around. Thought it's I thought out. I might have hmm? payout was twenty eight hundred bucks, I believe, on this one or twenty nine hundred bucks. And uh, there it is. Boom, Green boom, means win, you won, 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 win, yeah. win, win, win. And then we get to the next thing. Win, win. Oh, there's a that was a win. Win ten out of eleven. That's I needed cool. Arkansas. To cover five points. Guess what the final score of the Arkansas Vermont game was? They won by four, right? They won by four, right? They won by four. Yeah, that's right. They did. They Probably dribbled four. it out in the last. Now that's a bad beat. Oof. They won by four. Yeah, that was a pretty bad beat. That was <coughs> yeah. a pretty bad beat. But let's go. But you weren't expecting to win that one, right? No, no. I mean, Eleven. Le- that's like a. That's like a buying a lottery ticket, basically. Yeah. Right. Let's go to um. My next. How many lottery there. tickets did you buy this weekend? None. None. None so far. Ne- the weekend's not over. Next, go to my next parlay. Eight eight pick parlay plus twenty two thousand seven hundred nine. Now this one I felt pretty confident about. I've been watching the games leading up to the tourney. I felt like I knew a little something. 
So I put 25 bucks on this one. Whoa. This happens every, every year, by the way. West starts to every year. know a I little think I, something. Yeah. Well, I, eight I, I pick always, parlay. 25 bucks and an eight pick parlay. Late right? February, Why? West starts to know a little right. something. He's like, this is the first year I've actually checked it out. I know yeah. a little something. Yeah. 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 This one, I uh, would have paid fifteen fifty eight hundred dollars what they're eating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's got lists on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Well, they won. They won by this many points versus them. And then they lost by this many points versus them. So this that must mean <laughs> I mean, you're looking you're looking good. Wes. I see a lot of greens here. Again. Hey, look, again here. Texas Southern covers Indiana minus four covers Michigan State minus two and a half covers North Carolina minus three road with Mark on that one covers Creighton to upset uh, San Diego State win wow let's go to part two ohio state loyal chicago that was that was an upset a little upset took that one win tcu they were slaughtering seton hall at the same time the michigan state game was going on and i had michigan state minus one and a half now things were looking good i want to bring up some tweets i had with mark Need one more. These are text messages. Uh, text text, yeah, text messages. Yeah. Sorry, I always get those confused. Yeah. This is Mark at 120 on what, Friday, I believe? Yep. Need one more run from them, at least. Mark knew of my position. He knew that I would win $5,900 if Michigan could only cover, Michigan State could only cover because TCU was slaughtering. Yep. Got some nice hedges in. Your parlay went eight for eight. And I said, looking good. Mark, thumbs up. Hell yeah. Wes is and checking that, out jet skis right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about paying off my taxes. And then I say, I've seen crazier shit happen. Ha ha. TCU ain't losing. That's for sure. Just need this. These idiots to win by two. And then it starts looking grim. This I say they might blow for, it. This one looks bad for me here. Yeah, they might blow it. It does. And Mark says, you got it. Nice win. And they I'm up like, by six with seven seconds left. Yeah. Well, they were. Yeah, they were up by. Two. Oh, no. You you, you fired off them. W. I jinxed them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, I was on a side though. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. it's, your heart's in the right place, so yeah. you can't really get too bad at that. No. So it's looking good. Then, then um, Davidson hit another three, and then it's like the end of the game. I say they need to chuck it long. Then, um, oh fuck, where was it? Did I say? I know there was one point where I said, "Watch them fucking throw it down the court and hit a three. And now I'm going to pull up the play by play, and that's exactly what happened. This motherfucker. Do you have the play? No, I don't. I, I tried to find it. It was I have the, like 74 to 70 with like two yeah. seconds left. They had to go full court. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy hits like a like a beyond NBA three swish. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> Mich- Tyson Walker. Game over. Throw. There's really Hugh no reason Lee. for him to shoot it. Like, you know, no, yeah. no they were going to lose no matter what. Yeah. Ha Young Jong Lee makes a three pointer. <laughs> To, to <laughs> assisted by jumper. Michael Jones oh. nice. to make it 73 74. I lose my parlay. I lose the eight pick parlay. And um, yeah, that's how my week- weekend met. And then that on was, Saturday, that was brutal. That was, was, brutal. It was so you lost. It was so you lost a, an 11 and an eight pick parlay by, by, by one point each. Uh, yeah, I lost nine grand by and, by a point. And, yeah, and the Michigan 20. State game, no one was at, like the, obviously the only way it was going overtime is if they foul him on a three, he makes the three, and he gets a four point play. So there was right. no one on Michigan State within fifty feet of this guy, and he just right. throws up a fucking prayer, just shucks swish, it up, swish, cuts it up, and at zeros on the clock. I was like, oh yeah. my god, Wes. I, and, I, and I said <laughs> in my text to Mark, I said, watch him throw it down and hit a three, <laughs> and that's exactly what they did. Um, and then on su- Saturday, someone tried to um, Dick Vitale like screaming. <laughs> Wes someone just having a heart attack. <laughs> someone tried to show me that they had a bad beat too, and then I got a Twitter ban because I said at Sooner Life, uh, Sooner Fan for Life, we should jump off a bridge together, and yeah. that apparently violates our rule, their rules against promoting or encouraging suicide or self harm. So ban from Twitter. You should just, have asked uh, for a review you know, on that one. You should be like, yeah. that's a joke. Mm-hmm. Did you yeah. show them the bad beat? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't have the opportunity. They gave yeah, me 12 hours time out. Submit the screenshot to Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, nine grand. But then Sunday night, as I picked in the Discord, here's some proof. Golf bet. You got to go Hovland, Lowry, Burns, and Varner for the Valspar Championship. Second playoff hole. Sam Burns versus Davis Riley. <laughs> Bailed you out. In I would have. I would have jumped. I would have jumped off a bridge. The, the the PSA of the story is: if you're going to do a long parlay, always at least end with a money line bet. Do not end with a cover bet or even close to the end of a cover bet. That way, the hedge is so much easier. Literally, Michigan State losing by one point was the worst 
possible outcome yeah. I could The only have. outcome that would fuck you. It, the only outcome tough. that would fuck some, me. Some books only allow you to go money line only or points only. So it just depends on what book you have. Yeah. No, you most of them you can either go money line for a parlay, you can go money line. Well, if it's a big if it's big enough or close enough game, you can go money line or or um spread. Once Wes went six for yeah, six, it just depends on the book. He started texting me Friday afternoon and there was about eight hours before the, the last two games, which were unfortunately 15 minutes apart otherwise he could have done some things if the games were spread out the seventh and eighth game he would have known whether to hedge or not but with two games going on at the same time was kind of hard mm. luckily he finds the eighth game is a blowout so now he knows he's going to go at least seven for eight and michigan state might cover they might not so we we finally start figuring out like okay at halftime it was a one-point game and we're like the only scenario that fucks you is michigan state wins by one <laughs> can you bet on michigan state to win by one or two yeah mark and that was mark at a brilliant he finds it i was like there's yeah. that bet exists and it was plus 800 and i was like okay wait till it's like a push like wait till it's like a four or five point game that never really became a four or five point game so then it went down slowly the odds from plus 800 yeah. and so oh like, so part of that was because you were manipulating the live lines oh I he could have he could have made he could have made a huge profit like betting a thousand on yes. michigan state to win by one or two he would have won eight thousand dollars yes. yeah yeah i get it in the so beginning we, i should have bet a thousand yeah. yeah i didn't understand why why two. the live thing was was right. relevant at we time. figured it out eventually but we yeah. still we still fucked it up and i didn't put enough on it if <laughs> yeah. i would have put enough on it <laughs> yeah but yeah. So, yeah, that's how my weekend went. It was absolutely fucking insane. I don't know if anyone cares, but uh, this is therapy for me to share it. Mm -hmm. So um, you're welcome. Don't don't do money lines as people. Uh, I had to delete my tweet when I posted. Did you just uh, give say you're welcome to all of us for doing your therapy? Yeah. No. Did yeah, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Thank for you. the selfish said, ass uh, segment. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome for the PSA. <laughs> All right, Mark told me to do that segment. No, it was a great segment. I like it. <laughs> guys, you know what the problem with most weed edibles is? I mean, I think we all know what the problem with weed edibles is. Is you get yeah. way, way too high. Uh, you get paranoid. Could you imagine Wes on a weed edible this weekend? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, it would have unlocked the demons. Dude, I thought oh, my god, it was gonna explode. <laughs> You got to like leave a concert. Uh, you sleep through a movie. Uh, you have to go home early. I'm the king of going home early at like a bachelor party. It's usually because I've taken a full strength edible, but no more guys because diet smoke brings you the perfect medium high and uh, it's legal because it's Delta eight, baby. Uh, what's Delta eight? Well, it's simply a less potent THC. Uh, it's pretty new, right? Up until recently, the most popular THC Delta nine, both deltas come from the cannabis plant. This is Delta 8. It's a workaround, if you know what I'm saying. And it's less potent. So you can chow down on some diet smokes. It's awesome. I take at least one a night. Knock it super high. Like another thing for me, like I used to take a gummy before I go to bed to try mm -hmm. to like get me to bed. And I'd find that like it's impossible for me to wake up in the morning. Like I'd be sleeping through alarms. Uh, not with diet smoke. I get to bed, but then I could still get up. No hangover. Mm. Uh, it's less expensive. It's pretty awesome. It's 100% legal THC. Even in states where cannabis is not. Again, that's the Delta 8. It's a smoother high. It's organic, all natural. You know what I'm talking about. So if you want to enjoy totally legal edibles, and you might be sitting there in your state where it's not legal thing, and I can have totally legal edibles, but you can with this Delta 8 stuff. So when CBD is not enough and standard THC is too much, enjoy the smooth buzz of Diet Smoke. Right now, Diet Smoke's offering Hard Factor listeners a major discount. All you got to do is use promo code FACTOR, right, F-A-C-T-O-R, at checkout uh, at dietsmoke.com, and you get 20% off your entire order. Dang. So that's FACTOR to get 20% off your entire order. That's dietsmoke.com, promo code FACTOR for 20% off. And it's time, gentlemen, uh, for the... Well, real quick before we go into this, uh, Vernon Jordan was Clinton's uh, boner buddy. Clarence Thomas talked about pubes with Anita Hill. I want to okay. clarify Didn't that. Didn't he also have a crazy, um, you know, hearing, to, uh, oh, yeah. confirmation hearing? Yeah. They were yeah, both Joe, getting down. Joe Biden was a dick to him, yeah. All right, moving on. It's time for the TikTok international moment. Gentlemen, let's go to the UK, right? Uh, but first, let's have a touchstone here in the States. There's a labor shortage, okay? We all know this. It's evidenced by the hiring signs at every fast food restaurant marquee within the states and i know this because you're welcome over the weekend i did a little big j journalism and uh i went to a lot of different fast food restaurants to verify and prove my delicious hypothesis which is there's a labor shortage um also i really got to start running uh but mm -hmm. it's not just the states guys that's seeing a labor shortage of capable workers with certain Ronaldo-like qualities. The UK is feeling the hurt of the shortage as well. And this is evidenced by two UK companies that are on the hunt 
for the right kind of honks. <laughs> a honk hunt? A honk Ooh, hunt. a wooga. Yeah, you could call it a junk hunt, too. But I'm talking about butlers with bums and Adonis Cabaret. They're saying <laughs> that there is currently a national, and this is a quote, shortage of naked men. And they've put out a desperate cry, a desperate cry for men who like to work out and show it off a little to help hen party celebrations uh, and hen parties have the best times possible. Director of Butlers with Bums, who I got to tell you is a former butler himself, uh, he said, and this is a quote, this is Dan Harley, said the demand is beginning to increase again after the pandemic, but there's just a quote, national shortage of naked men, and it's providing a serious problem for his business, which you could imagine would be tough. Uh, so they just come over to your house naked and... and, and well, cl yeah. clean. It's male no. strippers. It's male strippers. Yeah. How how many guys stayed in stripping shape over the pandemic? Dude, this is Dan, Dan Harley. Uh, yeah. Not him. That's probably why he's running the business, not stripping any longer. Right. That's a great point, Will. Exactly. Dan's not juicing anymore. He needs a but he needs to hit the gym. Talk to all the meatheads. They're the only ones that stayed in shape. You're not going to find just a random guy who wants it's to be true. a cam guy out there who stayed it's, in shape. It's over not the a cam pandemic. guy. I mean, so like uh, we're going to get it exactly what you do because uh, I have their training video. Um, but Dan said. He said, we're getting a lot of demands for our buff butlers across the UK right now for hen does or hen do's, which I guess is like a you know, bachelor party. That's right. Uh, birthday parties, corporate events, et cetera. But because of the pandemic, there's a national shortage of guys and it's becoming just a big problem for us. So I went to apply. Uh, I went to buff butlers with bums dot com. These guys went, aren't cleaning shit. No, I know. But <laughs> oh, they're fucking but they, your wife. They yeah, do say that you're yeah, supposed to know up a, the jizz stain. They do want you to know a cocktail <laughs> recipe or two <laughs> if you want to get in there. But I went to apply Don't and buy these butlers for your wife. No. They, they told PSA me PSA from Wes. I'd love to see a one star review. <laughs> Honey, you're spotless. Unbelievable. Guys. <laughs> Honey, the, the house is still a mess. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Rule 11 clearly <laughs> states that you're not allowed to stay past your booked time. And we're going to get to that. Okay. But before I could apply, I had to watch the training video, um, which I've cut down uh, for, for you guys. Uh, so this is a portion of the training video of Butt Butlers with Bums. So you have to watch this before you apply. Start of the job. Getting ready. Make sure your uniform's correct and complete. You gotta have your collar, cuffs, black bow tie, and all that. Start of the job. No train as a baby oil. Your uniform gotta be clean. So is your shave. You gotta have sex positions for balloon popping. You pop the balloons in different sex positions. Hmm. Like you're having sex with balloons. With balloons. Yes, yeah, it's a and short time. Making sex motions. Paper. Spin the butler's bottle. Spin an empty that bottle. And whoever it lands on in the group's no. got to take a shot that's off the ass, butler's that's body. A bottle on his asshole. Body that they're taking the shot off of. Yeah. <laughs> Did Kate do this in video? a sexual way? <laughs> like it's sexual. <laughs> Rules, don't be late, no drinking, no smoking, no mobies when you're working, leaving a booking, you can't stay extra time after your booking's finished, even no. if the customers are begging for it, any sexual advances aren't to be taken forward, yeah. So that's the training video. <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. Very nice. Pro professionally done. Yeah, yeah thank yes. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they even blurred out the dicks. I did yeah. the blurring. Yeah, oh. yeah, for YouTube. Um, does anyone want to guess what you get paid if you're a buff butler with a bum? To uh, work per yeah. hour? Three hundred an hour. Yeah, three hundred an hour. One hundred fifty mm -hmm. an hour. Well, you got to take one hundred an hour plus tips. So here's from the website: a one hour booking is a fifty pound flat fee uh, with a five dollar bonus uh, if you go outside of a ten mile radius. Two hour booking, eighty pound flat fee. Three hour booking, hundred pound flat fee. That's that's pathetic. Yeah, that's you got to go three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, <laughs> <laughs> you got to get those naked. Why don't they just three hours? Three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't they just raise the prices? I mean, it seems pretty simple. Uh, it's got to be tips too. It's got. Yeah, be you must get. Tips. Of yeah, course, yeah, you get yeah. tips. Yeah. yeah. How many uh, quids can they stuff down your knickers? Yeah, a whole exactly. lot. A lot. Those horny <laughs> hens can yeah. stuff a lot of quids down your knickers. Especially <laughs> the smaller dongs of guys. 
You right. Know. The more space you have in there. <laughs> That's Think why. about it. Think about it. Uh, on the FAQ for the website, it asks, uh, do I have to show my bum on a show? And the answer, of course, is yes. The standard uniforms, an apron, a collar, cuffs, a bow tie, and you will show your bum. Um, some customers occasionally request boxers or trousers, probably because of the smell. And can I stay after my booking is finished? Again, no, this is not permitted. You are there not to supposed to, huh? No, absolutely not. Yeah, uh, sure. They don't stay after your booking. Yeah, yeah if they ask absolutely you to. No. Absolutely hey, no. uh, can you get out of here, Craig? The rules <laughs> say, you know, after the booking. Can I, can I take a Viagra <laughs> yeah. before my booking and then and then whore myself out to all the horny women? To and the entire bachelor party? party? Yeah. What, is, mm-hmm. what does the training say about that? It doesn't say anything about that. Okay, the, so that's the, that's uh, legally gray. That's a balloon. Correct. The balloon popping. One of the one of the um, one of the games. If you're listening, not watching, yeah. uh, they blew up a, a condom and then they put that condom on her bum, and, and then he, humps he it. humped it until he popped it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then he probably said, "Was it good for you?" And then that's he said, "We're, we're not going to oh, well, use a condom that, after." That, that's a classic. Well, that was my only condom. Yeah, he said that was my only <laughs> condom, and it's gone. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Let's go to another situation where dudes are selling their bodies, specifically in Japan. But first, I want to ask you guys: What's your dream job? And, and I know when Bum people butler. ask us, when people ask us these questions, <laughs> we say like doing this, doing a hard factor. But yeah. it's hard, hard work. What's your dream job in terms of like? the perfect slacker lifestyle like oh, good slacker. cash but you don't have to do shit like you don't have to lift a finger just lazy job oh if and i'm getting paid enough to live enough to live yeah what's a scenario that would be a dream i mean like, I well, you're love making tons of money backup I mean, quarterback in the, being NFL the or, boss right? yeah, delivering auto parts hunter oh mccoy yeah so you're saying the dream job of making a ton of money but without yeah, or working just hard. making some cash making enough where you're comfortable but you don't have to do much delivering auto parts yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah, or like owning a hotel. <laughs> pretty yeah, good. Just collecting checks. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah. The subject of our hey, I want to own the nicest hotel in the world. Yeah, that'd yeah. be a yeah. sweet job. That sounds stressful. You got to no, knock I mean, it down. Maybe I'd maybe six Motel 8s. I'd that's, hire people. Hey, it's the best built, most nicest hotel ever. I could hire a team to run that. Look, I want you guys to be Japan's do nothing guy. Look at that guy right there. Does he look like he's wealthy? He is. Uh, you can rent him stuff. You can rent him out. For stuff uh, like 27 year old Akari Shirani, who was recently featured in a Washington Post article. And the article says, quote, this before moving out of Tokyo for her new job, Akari Shirani wanted to eat at the f- favorite restaurant she used to visit with her then husband. And there was one issue. She didn't want to be flooded with thoughts about her divorce going there alone, but she didn't feel like inviting a friend and explaining the whole situation either. So she rented out Japan's do nothing guy uh, a- and their near silent lunch lasted for about 45 minutes and he got paid a lot better than the bum butlers with buffs. Here's a clip of their lunch. Wow. No words. This guy does nothing. Yeah, he absolutely does nothing. He's just a body. So you bring him home for like the holidays well, so it, and stuff like so that. So you don't look lonely, yeah. Yeah, you don't look like you know, your parents don't think you're lonely. Yeah, you don't look like a loser. Yeah. It's amazing people are paying for that. This guy's this guy's got it figured out. Pam must be real judgmental, huh? They look at someone eating alone, like look at that loser. Yeah. <laughs> to the do nothing. Act like people don't do that out. in America, Wes. Yeah. <laughs> well, <me> break. <laughs> He hasn't done. This guy not, hasn't not, done not, not as not severely as severely, I guess. <laughs> he's we don't have to do nothing, guys. He's cleaning up. Uh, this is uh, yeah. Uh, the guy's name uh, is Morimoto, and his gigs run the gamut. Uh, he's waited at the finish line of a marathon for a client who wanted to see a familiar <laughs> face. Uh, someone hired him to sit, to sit with them uh, with them while they finish their thesis paper because they might slack off working alone. Wow. Uh, he listens to healthcare workers describe mental health toll, the pandemic. He charges about 85 bucks a session and is most frequently hired to accompany people who are at like a turning point in life. Um, and he's at the time of this taping fulfilled 4,000 inquiries. Uh, he has one to two clients awesome. a day. That's down from four clients during the pandemic a day. Well, he doesn't have to do four anymore. Oh, no. And, and he's not it's just, he's not just yeah. being rented out. Uh, his do nothing job has inspired a television show and three books. So he's also counting royalties all day Holy long. Shit. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. I'd still take NFL owner over over that over hotel and that guy. Yeah. NFL owner. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty That'd good. Badass. Man. This guy doesn't have to fuck anything and he just gets free food. 
Yeah, they pay for the meals, I'm sure, too, right? Oh, 100%. Oh, do they make yeah. the signs, or does he have to make the sign at the marathon, like, go, Sandy? Does I mean, he, he might to... be making the sign, but he's billing back the markers. Okay. He's billing back the poster board. Yeah. You get so now he's just famous. For him. But, yes. but don't people know that he's a do-nothing guy now? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But, That's pretty cool. but, now but you're the more royalties, pathetic. but the books and the movies, yeah, now you're even more pathetic. Yeah. If you get caught. Well, once you get, well, once, once you, <laughs> once you actually talk to people about it. Yeah. I mean, once you actually try to, like, ha- ha- you know, like you try to play up a lunch with the do nothing guy. You're yeah, pathetic. yeah. Once you end up, on what do you want to do? Media, do nothing guy. Look, I, I spotted someone trying to pretend like they had a friend, right. but it was the do nothing yeah. guy. So yeah. you've done this five thousand times with four thousand different people, huh? Just do nothing with them all, huh? You know what he? You know what Just he has like to do? Is he has to hire someone else to be the do nothing guy and then pay them less yeah. and collect yeah. franchise. It's like the blue man, like the blue yeah. man group. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The do nothing guy though. It's going to be <laughs> hell for his relationships. That guy. He doesn't give a shit. He made. He's made no, a million bucks. That's tough. I think dollars. I think the do nothing guy is a little bit misanthropic himself and probably doesn't care about relationships and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, I bet there's a market over there for have lunch with a fat American guy. I bet you that we could make a well, in China. Uh, apparently, yeah. white people are somewhat of like a novelty. So you can definitely market that. We're, Japanese men pay for like tall blonde American women just to go out and like be seen with them. I know that we could probably do, get like like a fat American make people. someone feel better about their yeah. body type thing. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Oh, it's more like how American rich guy. and fed they are with those unhealthy. Look at them with those unhealthy fats. Yeah. They'd have to dress us up like businessmen and pretend we were rich. That's they fine. Dress me like, like dress me up like they want. I think yeah, Donnie yeah. does was getting paid as a as a uh, Chinese doctor. Yeah, exactly. He was doing yeah. the random white guy stuff. They definitely there. this oh. fat guy. Yeah. Bi- this this business for fat guys over there. Let's set it up. Fall back. Fall back. Plan. All right. Let, that's gonna do it for hard fact. Let's spin the wheel. You'd have to live in China though. I'm, I'm out. Japan. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. All right, let's spin the wheel. Uh huh. Not moving to China, Japan, for show. Cup of coffee in the big time's gonna be me, Wes. Another bad beat for Wes. Another bad beat. <laughs> <laughs> Wes will bring you tomorrow's bad beats. More PSA. Yeah. TikTok is Mark. That's me. There we go. All right. There it is. Let's get over hard factor. Hey, it's only Monday. It's only gonna get better from here. So have a great fucking week.